Hello again, I'm John Tersak, and this lesson will answer the question of how to make Mexican guacamole. I've seen some bizarre, outrageous versions of making guacamole, but this lesson will show you how the classic Mexican guacamole is made. I'm going to use four avocados to make this, and all of the ingredients in a guacamole will be some pico de gallo, or tomato salsa, if you will, some lime, some avocado, maybe a splash of olive oil, depending on how it looks, and maybe a little bit more Mexican oregano, which is already in here, and a little bit of salt. Now, I have three avocados I already cleaned right here, and I'm going to clean the fourth one that's going in here. Scooping it right out. And by the way, the uh, California or Mexican variety avocado is, are the ideal ones to use. Doesn't mean you can't use Florida ones, but the California or Mexican are the best ones for this. Okay. And this is traditionally mashed up in the bowl, okay? So we're going to put, so we have four medium-sized avocados. We're going to add one, two, three, four heaping tablespoons, or a little more than a quarter of a cup of the pico de gallo, or tomato salsa. We're going to mash that up. We're going to put lime in there before we even finish mashing it. Now there is lime in the pico de gallo already, but this lime will also help keep your avocado green a little bit longer. So it doesn't have to be this pureed looking thing. It should be a mashed looking thing, which is what we're going to have here when I'm done. Now, how much salsa should you put in there beyond what I'm recommending? Whatever amount you want. If you want more salsa in, then you put it in. Let's just taste this real quick before we start adding things to the pico, to the uh, guacamole, because the pico de gallo is fully seasoned that I put in here. This is good. This could use a little bit of salt. And just for fun, I'll put a little bit more Mexican oregano in there. And I think what I'll do here is add some of the tomato water in here just to loosen it up a little bit. Not that it needs to be loosened up because it doesn't. But I kind of like it a little softer. And then that is basically your classic Mexican guacamole right there. Let's just have one more quick taste before I put it on a plate. Perfect. So it should be chunky looking. This looks really good. And I normally would serve a little bit of lime with the guacamole. And chips or whatever. You know what to do with your guacamole. You don't need this video to tell you what to do with this, I hope. But of course, this obviously is one of the more popular items to serve chips with. So there you have it, authentic Mexican guacamole. Enjoy.